Oh, you look in pain, little kitty. You holding your poop again? Oh no, no more pages for now. It's important to listen to our bodies. Holding your poop for too long can be a bit risky. Absolutely. So in today's episode, let's explore what happens if you hold your poop for too long. Zoom in. Sometimes we find ourselves in situations where we can't go to the bathroom when we need to. It might be during a school assembly or while enjoying activities like hiking or watching a movie. The occasional instances of holding in poop are usually okay. It's critical to understand the potential risks if it becomes a regular habit. But before we delve into that, Let's grasp the basic process of digestion. You see, when we eat, our bodies break down food in the stomach. Next, it enters the small intestine, where nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream. The remaining waste then moves to the large intestine, where water is absorbed and the stool is formed, which is then pushed towards the rectum. Once the stool reaches the rectum, signals are sent to the brain, which tells us it's time to release the waste. But if you make a habit of ignoring this signal for a long period, you are putting your health at great risk. Yes, firstly, it may result in constipation, in which the lower intestine absorbs water from the stool that accumulates in the rectum. A stool with less water is more difficult to pass because it becomes hard. And in rare cases, the hard lump can get trapped in the colon or rectum, creating a sticky situation called impaction, which may need medical intervention. If you are lucky enough to finally have a bowel movement, it may require extra force putting strain on your body. This can potentially lead to the development of itchy and painful external hemorrhoids. Sometimes, all this discomfort can create a negative association with pooping, leading some children to develop a fear of passing stool. As a result, they may start to hold in their poop, thinking that by doing so, they can avoid the pain they experienced before. However, by consistently holding the poop, the rectum will start to fill up with stool, causing it to stretch and become swollen. And with time, your rectum may start to lose the normal sensations or urges that signal the brain when it's time to go to the bathroom and one might not feel the need to poop even when the rectum is full. As the stool continues to build up in the rectum, it can put pressure on the softer stool that is already there. This can cause the softer stool to leak around the hard stool and pass out of the child's body unintentionally. This leakage is known as faecal incontinence or soiling. And worst of all, holding in poop has been linked to inflammation of the colon, a potential precursor to the development of colon cancer. Although it's not something that often happens, it's a serious reminder that ignoring the body's natural signals can have long-term effects on our health. And in case you have the urge to poop but there is no place to go, it's important to find a solution that works for you. Look for a restroom or public facility in nearby establishments. If needed, communicate your needs to others who may be able to assist you. Also, planning ahead by using the restroom before engaging in activities where access may be limited 
can be helpful. Trivia time! Did you know poop is made up of about 75% water? Yes! The remaining 25% is composed of bacteria, undigested food, fiber and other waste materials. Sketching time! The sketch of the day goes to Onish Yadav. Hope you learned something vital today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Cool Kinney's Book of World Records. Fast! Why? Kitty had longest poop. Never mind.